Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Really start for today's video. It's an unboxing video, clearly. Uh, it's courtesy of Chris. Thanks so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. Um, he said, you better make room. And uh, he wasn't lying. This is a big box of beer. Let's get into it. So, I find putting on the ground makes the most sense because this is not the biggest table. All right. Oh, this one's on the top. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, nope, we're good. I think it was just some condensation, maybe. I don't think it's leaking anywhere. It's a little wet, if you couldn't tell from my uh-oh, like I'm four. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think this was just from condensation. So, anyway, this is from Hightower. And it's Bedtime Story Chapter 8, and it's green waxed and 14% ABV Barrel Age Imperial Stout. Uh, I can't quite reach it, but one of their beers is, uh, in the con is a contender for top 5, top 10 best beers I've had this year. Uh, and that one, that one was also Barrel Age and a Stout from these guys. So yeah, super stoked to try this one. There might be adjuncts in this one. I cannot remember for the life of me and it doesn't say I'll have to I'll have to look that up yeah okay so I think the same thing's happening here must have just been in the fridge and then just just some condensation trapped in the uh, plastic <clears throat> I just realized I, I literally haven't talked to anyone today like my throat is like hey yeah vocal cords um Okay, I do remember him talking to me about this beer, and it sounded awesome. It's a birthday cake, and it's cool. I don't know if it'll come up on camera or not, but um, there's a, a light over a birthday cake on top of uh, a table, but the table um, is being held up by a barrel, which is cool. This is also from Hightower. This is a 10% ABV uh, barrel-aged imperial stout. And I think there, there's like a birthday cake in it or vanilla. There's stuff in it I cannot remember, dude. Um, but yeah, I, I just, the, the, I've had a decent number of beers from Hightower. I think they're really good. Their barrel aged beers, I think are even better. So yeah, super stoked. Wow. There's gotta be a dozen cans, maybe. <laughs> Jeez, dude. A lot of beer. Uh, Hightower. So same brewery, uh, put an umbrella in it. He, I do remember him talking about this beer. Banana, blackberry, pineapple, orange, ice cream is uh, is what they're calling this beer. 6% fruited sour. Okay, very tropical looking. Uh, the Road That Wines, also from Hightower. This is a sour IPA, 6% ABV. I haven't had a sour IPA in a while. What was that saying about a sour IPA? Because I'm sweating. Wasn't quite camera ready. Too sweaty. <laughs> uh, Brew Gentleman, who's making phenomenal things. Uh, this is Heptagram, a 7th anniversary double IPA. 8.1% ABV. And yeah, I don't think they put um, what hops they use. Um, Illinois... Uh, I, I must be mispronouncing that, how they're trying to get me to say that. Oh, here it is. Illinois, pa. maybe it is, maybe I'm pronouncing it like Illinois, Pennsylvania is my guess. It's like a mashup of those two words. Um, double IPA, 8.2% ABV. Oh, sick. Okay, cool. Uh, it's a collaboration. This would explain the name. Uh, Cinderlands. Beer Company and Hop Butcher. So that makes sense where they're both located. And uh, again, it's a double IPA. Hops are Nelson, Enigma, uh, Motuka, and Columbus. And again, 8.2% ABV. Very cool. Okay. Bingo Pajamas. What a ridiculous name. Uh, I love it. Uh, double IPA, 8% ABV from Evergreen. Um, I don't know if I've had anything from Evergreen. Might be a new brewery for me. Uh, 8% ABV, uh, probably brewed in Camp Hill, Central Pennsylvania. 
this double IPA pours a hazy blonde with a slightly dry, adequately bitter taste. Amarillo, Amarillo, uh, and Nelson Hop Spring hints a mango, tangerine, and ripe kiwi. 8%. I'm like running out of room, dude. Old Thunder has a hammer um, looking symbol. False Kingdom. India Pale Ale. We brew this IPA year round with a blend of our favorite American hops. It is bright and balanced with a fruit forward hop character. False Kingdom is a beer that was built on experience, creativity, and passion. 6.5% ABV. A little lower ABV. I like that after a couple double IPAs. Um, ah, okay. I forgot about this. Yeah, because of some of these sours. He wanted to send them off with cold packs. It worked last time. There were, you know, actually I just did a video about this. Um, sometimes these beers can re-ferment and, you know, explode or just, you know, you open them up and they, like maybe the can doesn't explode when you open them up. It fizzes out too much and, and uh, maybe turns. Uh, point to point. Oh, this is actually an IPA. I said all that about sour beers. This is an IPA. 7.4% uh, ABV. And this is from Four Points. Uh, their stuff has just been phenomenal. Uh, really solid brewery. I think four more. I think Chris is the one. One time I did her an unboxing and went to clean up everything. And there was more beer. It's <laughs> still in the box, so you never know with Chris. Uh, 200 is the name of this. It's from Hightower. And it's 11% ABV triple IPA. 200. I wonder if it was like their 200th beer or something. 200th batch. Uh, Abstract Life 18. I think this is High Tower. Yeah, High Tower. Triple IPA, 11% ABV. Uh, okay. <laughs> These ABVs are all over the place, which is which is uh, not a problem for yours truly. All right, I think, yeah, two more. Counting this one. Oh, Shoe Brew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys did um, those, like, Mushroom Kingdom beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, Tsunami, self-explanatory self dessert stout, dirty chai latte. I love lattes, and I love big stouts. So, okay, you, you have piqued my interest. Coffee, chai spices, black tea, vanilla, milk sugar, 10% ABV. Okay. And I think the last one... Was I right? Two, four, six, wait. So yeah, <laughs> just about 12 beers, 12 cans. Um, also High Tower, Through My Lens, Double Juice Box. This is their grape one, 8% ABV. I can't remember if I've had this one or the single version, but I remember really liking grape and being like, yeah, you don't see a lot of grapes used in sour ales. And um, it was really good. So I don't remember if that's the same beer or if that's the bigger version of the beer I'm thinking of. But either way, I'm super stoked. What do you say? What do you say after uh, doing an unboxing of this magnitude and caliber? Uh, I think you say thank you again so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, be on the lookout for reviews of all these beers. I'm super stoked. So thanks again, Chris. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, he wasn't kidding about making room. <laughs> Cheers.